After today, things will never be the same. It's time to cut the frame on my 2008 Honda Shadow Arrow 750. So the first thing I did was remove the seat. Now, this is the part where I would tell you what size uh, socket you need to remove the factory bolts. But my bike was missing a seat bolt when I got it, so I replaced mine with Allen keys. I also realized that I was working outside in the sun with the black shirt on. Don't stare at my gut, guys. Alright, I've made a lot of progress here, and I've kind of regressed a little bit. Anyway, this is where we took the seat off. The next step is to unplug the wiring running back to the turn signals and brake light. Now, there should be three connectors. The light blue, if I remember correctly, is the right turn signal, the orange is the left turn signal, and the white is the tail light and license plate bracket light. To undo these connections, you have to lift up on a little tab, and I couldn't quite get my fingernails under there, so I ended up using a small precision screwdriver. Now, we do plan on reusing these, so I was extra careful to make sure I didn't break anything. Now that we're disconnected, we can pull the wiring harnesses out of the way. Now it's time to remove the fender. On my 2008 Honda Shadow Aero 750, there are six bolts that connect the fender to the frame, three on each side. So using a 14 millimeter socket, doing one side at a time, we're gonna go ahead and remove those. With the bolts removed, we can now take off the cover that holds the turn signal in place. And again, be careful with the wiring harness. You want to save that for later, don't damage that plug. Now be careful when you remove the last bolt, because if you don't support the fender, it's gonna drop. It's not gonna hurt anything, but just be aware. Then we remove the wire tie holding the brake light wiring to the frame, and lift the fender out of the way. So that's what it looks like so far, and now onto the fun stuff. So the plan is to cut right here behind these seat tabs, because I intend on continuing to use my Mustang seat. I thought about hard tailing and going with a Springer seat, but honestly that does not sound comfortable at all. Now I bought these really nice carbide saw blades that are meant for thick metal, and I knew they'd chew through this thing like butter. The only thing is though, it seems like my, uh, my old NICAD battery reciprocating saw wasn't up to the task, and I am very surprised how quickly these batteries drained. So I had to bust out old reliable, the old Harbor Freight electric saw. And that did the trick. And then I took a grinder and kind of smoothed out those rough edges. Knowing me, I would have hurt myself on them at one point or another. And to cover up the bare metal, I grabbed a can of Rust-Oleum truck bed liner I had laying around. And then after realizing that can was empty, I went back inside and got a different can of Rust-Oleum paint and used that instead. And I'm not worried about heavy coats or good coverage, I'm just trying to stop rust. Alright, frame is cut. That was a little nerve-wracking. I've been anxious about that all day to be honest with you. So next is going to be the rear fender, but I'm saving that one for later. It's going to mount kind of down in this area somewhere, and I'm hoping I can reuse these factory holes for my turn signals. Got to get those sorted out in the front, get those sorted out in the rear, and the taillight bracket is going to mount somewhere kind of in this general area. And if you guys aren't subscribed, definitely make sure you are, because you're not going to want to miss this. Y'all be good now. See ya!